Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock the Ryzen 5 7600X to 5.4 GHz. Um, so at the moment I have it running on stock settings. So the first step to do is to um, go uh, reboot into BIOS. You can do that by going to start um, and then rest uh, restart. And once you're restarted, you need to keep pressing the delete button or F2 key depends on your motherboard BIOS but for me it's uh, the delete button to go to the BIOS so yeah I have an Asus motherboard um, so your uh, BIOS may look different than this but most of them they have the same features really uh, I have like a B650 uh, motherboard um, and overclocking will only work on B650 motherboards and I believe the um, the X uh, motherboards as well the X um, I'm not sure which ones but they, they are only the B and the X they don't work on the A motherboards anyway um, I'm gonna press F7 to go to advanced and then uh, Go to the AI tweaker. Um, first of all, like your for for your RAM, like make sure you have DOCP2 enabled or XMP. It depends on your uh, RAM. For me, it shows DOCP, or it may show as Expo2 or XMP. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna enable that to make sure my RAM is running on the highest settings. And then uh, to overclock the CPU, you just go down to CPU core ratio. At the moment, it's set on auto, so I'm gonna change that, uh, and then put CPU core ratio. And then yeah, it is on auto, so I'm gonna put 5.4. Actually, it's 5400. Yeah, five four. Dot zero zero, and then now we're gonna increase the CP, CPU uh, voltage. So we're just gonna scroll down, and then we have a CPU core voltage. At the moment, it's on auto. I'm gonna set it on manual mode, and for me, it works on 1.19 volts. So for you, it may work different. Maybe like try 1.19 volts. Uh, for me, it runs stable on that, but maybe try 1.2 volts, 1.21, 1.22. So increase or decrease based on your um, CPU because they they are similar but like different. Like it, it runs a little different for each person. But for me, I tested it with 1.19 volts um, on 5.4 gigahertz. Um, so now I'm just gonna save and exit. Make sure you press save and exit, and then we're gonna boot into Windows now uh, just to show you and to test it on Cinebench as well. So, yeah, I mean, it's really easy. Like, uh, I jumped like really quickly on this video as well. Um, straight to the point um, not gonna take like a long time uh, like other tutorials you, you may find um, but yeah I mean this is free performance because uh, if you if you like run your CPU and stock settings when you're gaming or doing a task like uh, you see the uh, CPU clocks is on 5.4 uh, like stable uh, if you're running that on stock settings they they go down or go up based on the load, but for but now I'm I have it locked on on uh, uh, 5.4 gigahertz. So um, I'll open uh, CPU Z as well just to show you. So yeah, on CPU Z um, it says like 5.4 gigahertz as well and it's running on 1.2 volts i mean i set it on the motherboard uh 1.19 but 
you know, th this software sometimes it reads it at 1.2, 1.19, it depends, it is just an estimate, it's not like very accurate. But I'm gonna run a test on Cinebench uh, just to show you that, you know, it's running. And then, yeah, it's running. And then I'll also show you the um, temps whilst it's running as well. So yeah, the temps is at the moment is like 82 degrees, which is fine. I mean, you're fine, and like uh, anything below 95 degrees is fine on these uh, on the 7000 series AMD Ryzen uh, CPUs. So uh, I have a water cooler as well. Um, so so 84 degrees is uh, safe for these CPUs. Like anything below 95. Uh, and sometimes, like when you're when you have your CPU on stock, stock settings, uh, it gives it too much voltage, and uh, you may see like your temperature is really high. So once we set it at to 1.19 volts, it's actually lower than the stock settings. So it's gonna run uh, it's gonna run much cooler than the stock settings as well. So you finish Cinebench fine, no uh, crashes or anything. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Um, Please try it, uh, and you know I'm sure you will gain free performance. And if you have any problems or questions, please let me know in the comments, and I'll try to answer them and help you out. Anyway, good luck, guys. See you next video.